Hi, you're with Chandeep once again, and in this video, I'm going to speak about that how can you slice and dice the data in Power BI. Now, when it comes to slicing, one of the most common things that people use is slicers. Let's just take a look at how can you use a slicer in a pivot table. So all that you do is right click on the on the field and you add a slicer and you have a nice slicer and you can slice and dice the data using the slicer. Now, how could you do similar stuff in Power BI? Let's just take a look. So I'm here, uh, which is my report, and I would like to slice, add a slicer. So you can see that I have a slicer visual here, right? So I'm just gonna add a fresh slicer visual. Now, as of now, this is blank, and in this, I would like to add a particular field, which is my uh, column. So I maybe add a customer here, and you know you can see that this is now uh, connected to the pivot table or the matrix visual. So when I click on good fly, this data is for Goodfly or India Trotters or MNTL or whatever it is. As of now, you will also see that this slicer nowhere looks similar to this slicer. Now, how do we make it look like a slicer like this instead of a slicer like this? Go over to the second tab, which is the Format tab, and click over to the General Options. In general, you will find um, like the orientation of the slicer is vertical. Why don't you change the orientation to horizontal and you have a slicer like that? Now, this is almost similar to a slicer that you have in pivot tables in Excel. Now this can be dragged and this can be, you know, uh, kind of made like a more like a slicer, like the, the way that you have it in Excel. Um, and maybe you can just put it anywhere on the top. One of the other things that you would have seen in Excel is that the ability to connect or disconnect a slicer to multiple pivot tables. So when you click on the slicer, uh, I'm sorry, when you right click on the slicer and you go to report connections, you have the ability to maybe uh, connect a single slicer to multiple pivot tables. As of now, I just have one pivot table, but uh, you could actually check mark or uncheck uh, multiple pivot tables from here and the slicer starts to work on a single or multiple pivot tables. How do you do similar stuff in Power BI? So in Power BI, you have something called as interactions. So when you click on uh, the slicer, you have a format uh, tab on the menu bar, which is the ribbon. Over here, you, you will find that you have something called as an edit interaction. And when you click that, you will see that you will have uh, two icons here. Uh, this is the filter icon. That means right now, the filters are going to work from this slicer onto this pivot table. But if you click on the stop icon, what is going to happen is that no matter how much you click on the slicer, it would not filter the pivot table, right? So you can choose to uh, make the slicer work on one of the pivot tables, make the slicer not work on the other pivot table. You can kind of mix and match. And if you still want to go ahead and slice it, all that you have to do is activate back again the filter. If you don't want these buttons, go back to the format tab and close the edit interactions. The next thing that I would like to speak about is that how do you have filters and rows in the columns that you have in the pivot table. So in pivot table, it allows you to apply filters on maybe the years and the regions right here on the top. Or you could also drag something in the filter section. How do you do similar stuff in Power BI? So in Power BI, you don't have uh, the filter option here. But we have something called as a visual level filter. Let me just delete the slicer, get rid of this. So I'll just delete the slicer and we are back to the original pivot table. When I click on the matrix, uh, it allows me something called as a visual level filter. Now the visual level filters will only work on this visual, which is the, which is the matrix. Now let's just say that uh, if I would like to filter my data for a particular maybe um, region east only, and I click here, this will only filter down to east. As of now, you can see that uh, the year, the region, and the sales, all these three things are there in my visual. I could also add something which is not there in my, in my matrix to my visual level filters. For example, customer is not here. Maybe I can also add customer to my visual level filter and I'll be able to filter by a particular customer. So I can click on Datatronics and it actually filters out the data for Datatronics. So uh, this sort of works like the filters here or the filters here. The next important feature is drill down. So let's say for example, I would like to see that what is this number made of? So 
in Excel in a pivot table what you could do is typically double click on the value and it gives you all the records that form that number. This is the typical drill down facility available in Excel pivot tables. Is that available in Power BI too? Yes, it is. Take a look. So I'm going over to Power BI and um, I would like to take a look at uh, what is this number made of? So I simply right click on that number and I say see records and I'm going to take a look at all the records that constituted of that number. And I can click on back to report to come back to the report. Now this feature works for a particular number inside your report. It also works for the subtotal, but unfortunately it does not work for the grand total. So right click here if you, I mean, I can't even right click here. So it doesn't work for the grand total, but it works for the subtotal although, and you can take a look at the subtotals. Grand total means the entire data. So what you could do is you could just go back to the, the table view which is your data view and also just take a look at the entire data if you wanted to. All right, those were the three ways in which you could apply similar drill down features like the way you apply it in Excel in Power BI. Next, I'm going to speak about features which are there in Power BI, which are not there in Excel. And these are amazing. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.